Oh, honey. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Wellness Wednesday. Yes. Did you all check out our morning crew with uh, D.B. Marshall and Jenna with Wellness Wednesday? They give you great information to help you live a healthier life physically, mentally, and emotionally. Yes, but they do. So you need to check them out for Wellness Wednesday on Wednesday, the morning crew. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's here, everybody. My special guest, the one and only Robbie. He is finally in the building. Hey, Robbie. What's up, Sophia? Oh, how What's you doing? Up, everybody? You you okay? Yeah, I'm I'm really good. You talking about he talking about he nervous, child? Talking about I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. Is, you don't play. When you come up here, you got to be on your stuff because Miss Sophia be coming with the comeback. No, <laughs> I'm here to talk about you and your artistry, honey. Okay, okay. I don't play with those other people. Oh honey. yeah, the I, other people I would let them have it, but not Robbie. No, we family. Please the sing it. Now you say you met me back in when. <laughs> <laughs> a long time, a long <laughs> time ago. I met you back in '98. I said I moved to Atlanta. I, I said I was you in '98. I was in fifth grade. No, no. When I moved. <laughs> I, I didn't come to Atlanta. I was born in 2005. <laughs> no, I met you. I think yeah, around like '98. Around '98. Mm -hmm. How you doing? He's a singer extraordinaire. I met you with Kimberly Nicole. No, no, you did not. I did. When I saw you, 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 and Kimberly Nicole, y'all performed. Uh, my, yeah, it's not when you met me though. No, I know I didn't meet oh, okay, you okay, then, okay, okay, but okay. you know, I, you know, absolutely. One, one of our meetings was when you were with Kimberly Nicole. Yeah, Kimberly's one of my best friends in the and music industry. Baby, <laughs> y'all turned it out because we were at Fall Tackler one weekend, and you, mm -hmm. ooh, you and Kimberly Cole, y'all turned it out. <laughs> now you. you talking about you were nervous? What are you nervous for? That's just how I am. I'm most comfortable on stage, you know what I'm saying, with the lights and the people screaming. And I just, oh. you know, that's just my world, my element. So I'm just super confident there. So now right you're here. This your world. So, you know. No, this is not my world. I'm comfortable on stage hosting the shows and stuff. This is oh, not God. my world. I'm nervous, too. <laughs> I am so nervous. I am just I just don't express that. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, okay, okay. But, uh, yeah, it's different as an entertainer. A mm -hmm. lot of entertainers are shy. Are you shy? Yeah. Or it's yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Don't sorry. come in here with no, yeah. yeah. Get your ass whooped down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm shy sometimes. Just, I got to. But no, I know you, so I don't know why I'm shouting now. I guess because you know everybody else is listening. You know mm. what I'm saying? Oh, so everybody wanna, else is listening. I don't want to mess up in front of them. You, you live know? on IG or something? Yeah, because I keep looking down. Yeah. No, I'm just asking because oh, yes, you I know am. those are your fans, so you know them. They know you, so you're having a beautiful people. Nervous. I call them beautiful people. Beautiful people. Mm -hmm. Beautiful people. Yeah. Beautiful people meet the hyenas, the laughing <laughs> hyenas. That's what I call my people, the laughing hyenas. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are listening <laughs> now. Um, you just to give people a little brief history on you. Like you've been in this game for a while, mm -hmm. and when you were 14 years old, you caught the attention of L.A. Reid. Yes, and he signed you mm -hmm. to a group yeah. by the name of Fourth Avenue. Fourth Avenue. Tell us about mm -hmm. that. Um, actually, I was in seventh grade. Um, 14 when we probably like the the pink the ink dried. You know what I'm saying on the contract mm -hmm. and everything, but. Um, I sang for him. He found me when I was in seventh grade. He was um, about to sign a new group to LaFace Records, and he had two guys already, and they were looking for two other guys to put um, in the in the group. And one of the members was Brandon from Mister. I don't know if you remember Mister from back in the day, the same Blackberry Molasses. Okay. Uh, and I was the other guy. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. And before I could get in the group, before I sung a lot of gospel music um, growing up. Uh -huh. you know, so I knew your about dad. It. Yeah. <laughs> I did the gospel songs, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but to get in the group, they wanted me to like audition with a, a R and B song. So naturally, I gravitated towards Tevin Campbell, you know. And uh, it's a song on there called "Shh" that I had to learn, and it was written by Prince, ironically. And um, yeah, I did it, and he told me I was gonna be the sexy one in the group, and that's that's how that that happened. He told you you were gonna be what? <laughs> He told you you were going to be what? I got to pick my words with you. Cause the I sexy know. one. The sexy one. No, let it just be you, honey. Okay, okay, the okay, sexy okay. one, child. Yeah, yeah, the sexy yeah, one. Yeah, so you was his new usher. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess so. That was my label mate, Usher. You know what? I got a funny story about Usher because, you know, me and Usher used to talk to each other a not a lot, but we uh -huh. talked to each other because I ain't going to lie. We talked while we, um, we were on the label. I had his number and everything. And, you know, when you're young, you don't know, like, 
Who's going to pop? Protocol type stuff. Well, that too. And then just prototype. Like, how are you supposed to act with people? Like, you ain't supposed to go around saying, oh, I got his number. And mm-hmm. that's just crazy. I was just young and crazy. So I would call him on three-way and be like, just be quiet. I want you to see, see, I know him. And once I, I called him, we was talking. My friend got to make some noise in the background. He's like, dude, what's what's going on? I was like, oh, Lord. He's like, yeah, don't yeah, do not don't do that no more. And I ain't talked to him since. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, I was a kid. You know, just yes. ex- excited to be signed. And I mean, all my label mates was like TLC, Usher, Tony Braxton, Outkast. You know, I mean, good yes. grief. Yes, and like, then it's just like we're, I'm going to get to. The, we're going to take a break, but I'm going to come back and talk about the time when L.A. Reid touched you. No. <laughs> Hell no. My mom won't be having that. Or oh, my daddy. So oh, no. LA never touched you? No way. Ever. So Usher. <laughs> no. Robbie is the reason that you caught all that. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie wouldn't let him touch you. <laughs> so no. he took it out on you, Usher. No. <laughs> no way. No, but you have worked with some you have opened up for some amazing people and mm. you are an amazing artist yourself and now you're doing your own thing. You're doing concerts, but you India Irie. Yes. Tony Braxton. Uh, Big <laughs> Frida. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, Big Frida. I'm open for her at um, Afropunk. Um, India Irie, me, me and her are cool, cool friends in the industry. Uh, Janelle Monet, I'm open for her. SZA. Um, SZA at Afropunk. Tyler, the creator. All of this was like Afropunk performances where I um, performed alongside them as well. So, God is just great. You know, Tony I mean? Braxton. I didn't. <laughs> I, yeah, I was confused when you said <laughs> I ain't open for no Tony Braxton. I love Tony Braxton, uh-huh. you know, but I, I haven't open. I'm just speaking it to existence, honey. Yes, honey. Got to speak it, baby. I love Tony Braxton. But everybody that I name except Tony Braxton, he yes. has open for them, honey. I was like, where did you get that from? <laughs> you know, my grandmother said, lie, don't care who tells it. Okay. It just want to be told. <laughs> But this is Robbie, everybody. For those of you that don't know Robbie, honey, I want you to just Google Robbie, R A H B I. R A H B I. Where did yes. the name came from? Well, that, um, it's an Arabic name. Um, my dad's side of the family um, is Muslim. My mom's side is Christian, so I just say I'm the, the love that connects the two. So, you know. Yeah. <gasps> oh, absolutely. you're so deep. <laughs> You're the love that connects the two. Yeah, because sometimes they don't understand each other. You know, you know. Your mom and your dad. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like sometimes the people in the religion? Christian religion and the Muslim religion, they're like, we're right, we're right. You know. So, but since I, you know, I have family members on both sides, I'm like, listen, it's all love. Just you know, get along. You know, it's all good. Okay, yeah. you mix. <laughs> You like me. We have something in common. Yeah. We're both mixed. What you mixed with? I'm mixed with black and African. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to Sophia holding it down right here with my special guest today, the one and only Robbie, honey. <laughs> oh, we are you ready? We're the home of the urban sound of pride, honey. Come on, let's ride. How long are you going to stay today? As long as you want me to. Leave. All right. 10 p.m. <laughs> Pay me right now. Robbie. Hey, Thank Robbie. You. Hey. You How my are type you? Too. you? I'm your type. Yes, absolutely. Are you single? Yes, you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, what do you like? Love. Oh, I tell I'm most attracted to love. You most attracted to love. Okay, mm-hmm. am yeah. I love? That's yeah, that's why I like you. Okay, you well, let me find out. Let me find <laughs> out. We are you, my soulmate? Because I've been telling the Lord to send my soulmate. Oh Lord, are you here? <laughs> you are here, child. This show has taken uh, a turn. Yeah, absolutely. Baby, I'm thinking I'm finna interview uh Robbie, and I'm interviewing my soulmate. Listen. Want to do it? I feel like T.D. Jakes and Sarita Jakes. <laughs> <laughs> we having a mama, me and my boo. Okay. Hey, babe. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> any potential any potential soulmates out there, I'm just kidding. We're just having a little fun, my friend, Robbie. Now, we got to take care of business first, folks, because, you know, I just get silly and just go silly all day. Okay. All day. Absolutely. Uh, you're doing a concert tomorrow with a young lady by the name of Stop. Yes. Tell us about that. Yes, the concert um brought to you by um. Sean. Don't say that name. Don't say that name. I'm not talking to him right now because I have been calling him because he had he went took some people on a cruise a yacht and you know the yacht party and I've been calling him trying to get some information about that and then when I saw that you and Stout was doing a concert I was calling him trying to get some information about that and then when I booked you on the show all of a sudden I wake up this morning mm-hmm. and that nigga done called me left me a message but oh. don't say that name but you're doing the show no I'm just kidding I'm go so ahead. Bad. 
<laughs> Go ahead. Sean Joyner presents um, Robbie and Stout at St. James Live. Uh, and, and Stout is amazing. Um, I think I met her randomly on Instagram, singing background for Childish Gambino and Corey Henry. Mm-hmm. And when I heard her do her own stuff, it's like a mix of Tina Turner, uh, it's gospel, it's rock, it's electronic. And um, yeah, we did a show in New York last year. So I'm just excited to be doing a show together here um, in Atlanta. It's only like 141 tickets because, you know, COVID and make sure everybody got their own space and, you know, it got to be like safe. But mm-hmm. um, we're really excited. And it's at St. John's Live, St. Saint James. St. James Live. Uh, and what time it starts? It starts at 7 o'clock. And uh, if you go, oh, oh, show, oh, Lord, I don't even know the, where to get the tickets. Try uh, good, good. No, you don't know because if, if Sean had to return page. my call, then we would know where to get no, the ticket. You go to my Instagram page. No, like, don't go there, y'all. It's on this <laughs> at Robbie Raw R A H B I R A W. Um, yeah, so mm. I'm sorry, mm. <laughs> Sean John and I. Seriously, Sean John is the young man that has like uh, Fall Tackler every year. We have Fall Tackler, mm-hmm. and then last year when we did Fall Tackler. Sean made the announcement that, you know, the staff need a break because we have been doing it for like 10, 12 years. Mm-hmm. And we have had some amazing artists to come through. You, Kimberly Nicole, uh, B. Slade, uh, Avery, Sunshine. Avery Sunshine. Yes, we yeah. have had some amazing artists to come mm-hmm. through and do our concerts that Saturday night. Absolutely. And, uh, last year, he said, you know, the staff needs a break. The staff mm-hmm. needs a break. So we're not going to have a well, fall tackle of 2020. We're just going to wait till 2021. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like, how amazing was that? Because. Oh, yeah. Now we're dealing with COVID, and he would have had to cancel it anyway. Absolutely. So Sean John, Sean he's an amazing person, honey. Mm-hmm. I enjoy working with him, and I'm sure your experience working with him is yeah. just as amazing, Sean honey. Sean gave me my first big check as a uh, performer. So uh, you know what I'm saying. And you're yeah. an independent artist. Independent artist. That's yes. what I, you know, Absolutely. make sure we say independent artist. Independent artist. Because uh, yeah. a lot of people, you know, they think we have these artists up here and they think you have this big machine behind you and you are the machine. Listen, me and my creative friends, you know, so because all my friends are like artists, like dancers and singers and makeup artists, hairstylists, um, you know, female impersonators, <laughs> everything, everything, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. Cause uh, I was uh, I was working with somebody and then it's like oh I gotta go do Robbie I gotta go do Robbie's makeup and blah blah, blah. I was like okay Robbie you better do it but that's yeah. what you have to do you know especially mm-hmm. when you're an independent artist you have to look for avenues where you could you know cut the cost mm-hmm. and when you don't have that money to spend on you know promotions or you don't have this team behind you and it's just like you still have a life you right. still have to pay your mortgage you still have to pay light bill you still have to pay car you still have to eat you still have to pay gas and all that stuff Listen. so a lot of people forget all of that yeah i mean then on top of that then you got your your pay for your studio time and pay for mixing and mastering and your video and your, it's, it's a lot that goes into it so i'm appreciative of everybody that downloads the music Download. <laughs> downloads the music and attends the shows and, um, and everything and just yeah but just thankful. The, but you're saying download the music so they need to pay for the music first so when they yeah, download it saying, is they yeah. paying if, yeah don't just when you download it you pay when you add it to your library that's not really doing but i'm saying download like pay it pay right. for it yes because i get you know all that money i make money like faster but when you're doing them streams i make like 0.0000000 yeah dip. because we had another yeah. indie artist in here and it's he was telling crazy. us that it takes like you know when you all do that it takes us like you know to download so many thousands of copies before that equals one album sale absolutely yeah absolutely so, so. give your cash app give your yeah. cash app because you're an independent artist give oh, your yeah, cash app so people as a the playground t-h-e P-L-A-Y-G-R-O-U-N-D. And I call it that because um, I used to work with kids back mm-hmm. in the day, the after school program. Yeah. And just while watching them on the playground, it's just like they're so, it just reminded me that that's where our creativity is at its peak, like uh-huh. on the playground. And I never want to lose that as you grow up because, you know, you start out as a kid, you know, you believe you could be like anything in life. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a knight. I'm a princess. I'm a whatever. And then you grow up. People start judging you. You fat. You ugly. You black. You this. And you just stop believing in yourself. Mm. And you're just that creative mind just starts to diminish and more and more. And I just think it's important that you just don't lose that. You the, know playground. the playground. The playground. So your cash app is dollar sign the playground. The playground. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm your girl, Miss <laughs> Sophia. Hold it down right here. We are your radio. I'm here with my special guest, Robbie. Absolutely. And you can cash up him at the playground. He's an independent artist, honey. And coming back, we're going to play one of his songs and we're going to play a lot of games. All right, honey. Come on. Let's go to the playground, Robbie. <laughs> 
They call me look. Welcome back to Club Chit Chat with your DJ, Miss Sophia, right here on We Are You Radio. We Are You Radio. We're the home of the urban sound of pride, baby. Yes, but we are. I'm in here today with my very special guest, the one and only, Robbie. Hi, Robbie. Hello, everybody. How you doing? I'm great. It's excited to be here. Yes, and what do you call what do you call your followers again? The beautiful people. The beautiful people. The Started beautiful from people. the inside out, because you know it's some pretty people on the outside as ugly as hell on the inside. Oh, you know, so, yeah, child, my, like L.A. Reid. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do to you? L.A. Reid didn't do nothing to me. It's what he did to those other young men. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, <laughs> oh, no. he made them famous, honey. Oh, my goodness. I have not heard anything about that. You have not? No. You have been listening to my show. <laughs> I'm talking about, I was talking about that when I was over at the other station. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know nothing about L.A. Reid. All I know is what I heard. Mm. But I did see some doc, some papers from the courthouse, honey. Some people had filed some lawsuits against L.A. Reid. Child, mm. but uh, other than that, I'm just talking, honey. I'm just talking up here, entertaining folks, honey. Please, Mr. Reed, if you're listening, please don't sue me because you ain't gonna get nothing but some wigs and lipstick. What? <laughs> <laughs> wigs and lip polish to be exact right, so if you want some wigs and lip polish to make it through the second half of your life then feel free to take me so to lip court polish. I ain't never heard of that yeah before. lips lip polish i wear lip polish because lipstick you know it wears mm. off honey but oh. when you put lip polish on it stays on for like weeks months years <laughs> You don't have to change, honey. Lip polish. Weeks, months, and years? Yes, honey. Oh. Mm-hmm. How do you, eat? How do you yeah. eat with that old? How do I eat with it on? Yeah. Easy, because it's not coming off. Oh. So enjoy your food, honey. Okay. Baby, I have tore up plenty of chicken and oxtails <laughs> with some lip polish on, honey. Okay. And okay. when I finish eating, honey, I get up and, you know, just go on, on to the car. Everybody mm-hmm. else, they sit in that real plain lipstick. I'm right. like, girl, you need to get some lip polish, honey. Right. You should, like, give that, like, present that. Oh, I'm working on it. I'm working on that. Oh, no, Rihanna. Oh, Rihanna, yeah. she doing other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she doing other stuff. Okay. What is it, Bentley? What is she went Fentley? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Fenty. Fenty. Oh, yeah. okay. Fenty. <laughs> You're so silly. Ooh. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna play one of your songs. I have not. It's in the system, but I have not put. I was supposed. I'm gonna play it during happy hour. Okay. I didn't want to play it now. I want to play it during happy hour because you know happy hour. We get our happy hour on. Happy hour. Oh, smoke, man. drink. Oh. You know, do pills. You know, freak. Whatever you want to do. Everything is legal at our happy hour, honey. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Do you smoke? Oh, uh, not anymore. You I had used a, to a bad trip. And I just you had a bad trip. Thought my best friend was trying to like end my life. So what was your what was you smoking? <laughs> I thought it was weed. I think oh, it, I think it was. Yeah, they probably had laced it with something, uh, honey. I don't know, but yeah, you should get your weed. You only get your weed from Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoop Dogg got the best weed, honey. Ask Martha Stewart. <laughs> All right, right, right. Oh Lord, <laughs> I just caught what you said. Yeah. Do you drink? Uh, occasionally. Okay. You know, but you do, really powder, you do powder. You do powder. No. Yeah, I'm just wondering how because if you do powder, I'm saying, let me get my damn purse and sit on it. <laughs> you do Tina's, you do them pills. I don't even know what that is. Oh, them pills, honey. The young people, you got to get some young people. You got to hang right. around young people so you know what all the drugs okay. are. Yeah, yeah, I grew huh? up like in the church and stuff, like in seventh oh, grade. Oh, that's why the drugs were thick <laughs> down in the church, honey, in the basement. No, no. So in seventh grade, like this dude, he had in trouble. He was supposed to go to the, the principal's office and he told me to hold this bag for him. Mm-hmm. I was like, why do you want me to hold this bag of grass? This is crazy. Like I thought weed was like grass and stuff. So mm-hmm. that's how like out of it I was. Like, so, your yeah. dad Is your dad a minister? Nah. Your mom, my, my she's mom an is, evangelist? Y- yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what's her name? <laughs> Sandra Dean. <laughs> no, just Sandra. Yeah, he don't want everybody to know, but this is uh, the son of the one and only. <laughs> His mama probably wake y'all up in the morning because she be on early. Want need to find him? Get out of here with all these early notifications about you going live. <laughs> no. Oh, Matt, why need nobody? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so who are some of the entertainers? Robbie is a singer, y'all, because I'm in here acting. Who are some of the singers that you look up to that inspire you? Most of them are gone, but uh, of course, Michael Jackson, uh, Rick James, Prince. Yeah, they all gone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you gonna have to carry the torch. Earth, Earth Wind, and Fire. Ooh, they Jesus. almost out of here, all of. <laughs> Little Richard. Oh, definitely gone. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, they just. Do you have. Oh, I'm sorry. 
do it like anybody. Is there anybody alive that is? <laughs> uh, so, I, I believe uh, now. I believe also, you. So Emily King. I never heard of her. <laughs> Cause I just like people that just Emily. Dope, I'm telling you right now, honey. I'm gonna Google your stuff, I, I baby, know. cause you're on your way out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody inspired by me, honey. They out of here, baby. No. So Emily, you are on your way no. out of here, honey. <laughs> oh no, no. Uh, <laughs> Janelle Monae. Janelle Monae. A oh, girl, you better do uh, one more movie, girl. Janelle. I mean, all my friends, Hero of the Band, Nine Bricks. Uh. Uh, 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 Simone Royale, um, Willie Hen, just you know, okay. You okay. done, baby. Yeah, yeah. All right, we just got a, a obituary <laughs> of the people that's on the way out here. Listen, <laughs> they had this new show, Virtual. You know, versus yes, yes. Wendy Who Williams has been your versus? She called it what? Versus the other day, I, girl. He better be careful. They gonna sue him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I don't know. Be quiet. You ever met me? You ever met him? Wendy, I've never met her. Wendy Williams. Her? <laughs> you were just asking me what do you call it? It's trans. It's what you say is drag mm. queen, transsexuals, transgender, oh, yeah. all that is just offensive. <laughs> when it comes to William Wendy, Wendy Williams, you don't call her transsexual. Okay. You don't call her cisgender woman. Mm -hmm. You don't call her uh, pre op tranny. Mm -hmm. You don't call her transsexual or uh, tr a drag queen. <laughs> what you Will call you? it? Wendy Williams, what I call Wendy Williams? Yes. That nigga with a wig on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh, no. Did you see me on Wendy last week? Uh huh. You did? I said, who is that other nigga with the wig no. on? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Listen, that I did not so see you. But uh, you know what show I want you to be on? What show is But that? it's too late now. Uh oh. Empire. Yeah, that would have been dope. Because I, I just look for, I just, because they were yeah. filming here in Atlanta and everything, mm -hmm. and I was just say, I know Robbie is going to be one of the musical yeah. guests one day. I would love to. And then to. Justin Smullett, he messed that up. <laughs> Child. Messed it all the way up. He messed it all the way up, honey. I was yeah. like, oh, I was trying to wait to see when Robbie was in, yeah. on that show, honey. Maybe they could put me on Pose or P-Valley, something like that. P-Valley. Who you going to be on P-Valley? Because Uncle Clifford <laughs> don't want you. He got to see murder, honey. He don't want you. You too live for Uncle Clifford. He been expose you to death. <laughs> <laughs> who you going to be on there? Uh, just me. You, you know who I think you could be? Who can I be? M I crooked ladder, crooked ladder, I crooked ladder, crooked ladder, I humpback, humpback, ah, Robbie. You don't want to see me on no pole. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's on uh, P Valley. Yeah, yeah. Well, you could be on that. Welcome to the valley, welcome. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do anything on no pole. I can't even twerk. You can't twerk. No, child, please. No. You can twerk. I could roll. Oh, oh! I know you can roll. <laughs> I, I know you can roll because you know who told me you can roll. <laughs> Gary, <laughs> huh? Who? <laughs> who you think? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Let me go through my phone and get this number right quick. I know this break has been extended, <laughs> but I let me go through my phone and get this number, and I'm gonna call she this person. Mm, I'm not lying. You know, you say Who you are you me. calling? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you calling somebody for real? Yes, I'm gonna call the person that told me you could roll. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna have to get their number later on. I'm gonna woo, baby. But uh, yes, yeah, right. honey, you know I know, honey. Okay. Uh, uh, so like I said, I'm gonna play your music during happy hour, honey. Okay. We're gonna that's really fine. get down with your music and uh, your latest EP. How can people get your latest EP? Um, they go to my website, hello com H E L L O R A H B I, and it gives you the links um to you know everywhere where the music is, Spotify, um iTunes, uh, Google Play. Titles, it's, it's everywhere, you know. Yeah. All right, baby. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. She's still looking for that number. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you about to call? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to say a name. <laughs> hey. Uh -uh. Who is hey. that? How you doing? A little bit better than wonderful. How you doing? I'm good. Say hey to Robbie. Hey, Robbie, what's up? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> uh, hey, how you doing? How you been? I've been amazing. Who is good. Amazing is a good word. 
Who is this? I like you, bro. So, Phil, how you been? Who I been this? good. He don't know who you are. <laughs> oh, okay. Tell him who you are. Elgin. Oh, what's up, Elgin? <laughs> Your messy ass. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right he was up here talking about he loves the roll huh i said oh somebody told me you could roll man <laughs> oh really that's what he get on the damn <laughs> he what he's at he miss roll. he know what it is oh <laughs> get out of here <laughs> oh, okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on are you getting something <laughs> Oh, you're giving me some fear. Hold it down right here. We are you radio. We are you radio. We are the home of the urban sound of pride. And now I'm getting ready to play this song for Elton and Robbie. It's called Roll With It. <laughs> no, it's not. I love, I love it. No, it's not. This song is called, oh, how can we act like that? And we're going to ready to play gospel. <laughs> Lord, Lord, you know they hard. <laughs> You know they hard on it. Why they doing all that rolling? <laughs> Let's do it. This song is titled mm, Joy, honey. I get joy when me and Elton roll, Why honey. Joy, honey. Uh. Just, you know, did a uh, Jerry Springer, honey. I done uh, th- threw you on the no, phone with somebody and you didn't you know who it was. You people to my friend. That's a friend of mine. Oh, that's a friend of yours? Yes. Yeah, somebody you be and rolling with. Get more. No, everybody er- everybody on this live, I'm sure, has seen me roll on stage and roll in person. Like, you know, <sighs> I roll a lot. Yes, you do. You are a very energetic entertainer. Mm-hmm. I've seen you several on several occasions entertaining. Mm-hmm. Like I said, fall tackling in your concerts here and everything, and you and Kimberly Nicole and you and uh, 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 Madam CJ. Yes, yes. She's one of your favorite uh, yeah. backup singers as well as one of your dancers and everything. Yeah, I call her my mistress of ceremony. Your mistress like of she ceremony. She knows how to get the party going. Okay. You know? So Madam CJ, she's a firecracker. You know, so and I, I was actually inspired by um, the ballroom scene here in Atlanta. You know, like um, before the ball starts, how they introduce the legend statement, mm-hmm. like you know, the pump. The Can beat. I see a legendary? Absolutely. Can I see a legendary Raquel yeah. Balenciaga? <laughs> Lord, Aga, Aga. Yeah, so that Ag- Chanel, <laughs> Chanel, Ebony, Ebony. Yeah. Oh, yeah. E to the B to the O to the N to the Y Ebony yeah. E to the B to the O to the N to the Y Ebony yeah. Ebony <laughs> So that pose You know that wasn't new to me That one I came up yeah. around all that You know mm-hmm. so I wanted to add that to my show Because I just thought it was so dope You know so For me to like For my intro to be set up like The beginning of a of a ball or something Are you, you in know? a house? I was never officially in a house, but I was always around Jasmine Bonet, like, growing up. So I was kind of, like, like a Bonet, you know. Bonet. You know, it's old Milan, you know, Bonet Milan. Milan. Yeah, so. um, A Milan. Uh, yeah, but it was never nothing official. I just. I'm in the house of Macintosh. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're in the house of Robbie. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> Robbie. So, listen, I have birthdays here, and I usually do the birthdays. Mm-hmm. But since you're here, I, you want to do the birthday? Sure, sure, sure. I hope but I have these names. What yes. kind of names are they? Are they mm-hmm. like? <laughs> well, I can't do that because you know I can't do that then. Since I, you, I gotta let you read over these names. You can't mess up the birthdays because I had some people in here. They had met the birthdays, messed the birthdays up. So, you know, somebody some people else. like I don't know. Um, Dyslectic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my mom had a student, right? And his name was M R M A R C U S, and his mom kept getting mad because people did not pronounce it Mister Mister Marcus. Like they were saying, Marcus, but she's like, no, that is Mr. Marcus. Oh. I'm like, you know what? I can't. <laughs> but listen, uh, you were on a show, uh, VH1 show, mm-hmm. Make a Band. Tell us about that experience. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, well, uh, yeah, they were just looking for a band um, to give exposure to. Uh, so I had to submit a video and have people like vote on it, mm-hmm. um, so we can go on TV live. Um, yeah, it was so long ago. I'm trying to like piece it together. Oh, okay, <laughs> trying to piece it together in my that head. That whole experience but, so long ago, you'd have forgot about that because you'd have, have made so much more history since then, honey. I forgot about so that. So the hell with VH1 yeah, and making a band. Yeah. 
<laughs> I know that's real, my bitch. He said, "Go to hell, bitch." One, <laughs> y'all ain't did nothing for I'm him. To piece it together, but, but waste his time, honey. He could have been <laughs> further along no, in his career had he not wasted his time with that bullshit, <laughs> y'all. No, we did well. No, I was on the on, on TV. Um, you know, Natasha Bedingfield was crazy about the music. Uh, well, yeah. I but listen, I don't want to talk about that. Absolutely. Since you said it was so long ago, you didn't want to talk about it. I you know, so I, I apologize for bringing that up. Please take that out of your bio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But Good listen, <laughs> I know your brother, like you talking about your brother, I am Zoe. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that you all are actually brothers. Yes. You know, I am Zoe and Robbie are brothers. Yes. Mm -hmm. And their mama is an evangelist, but Robbie would not say her name on the air, and I'm trying to send people over there so his mama can pray for them, <laughs> save their souls because she in the no, business of saving souls, the, the, but he would not tell y'all who his mama is. I cannot no, believe you're not trying to send people over there for prayer. Get out of here, Robbie. You no, get out of here. I'm no. trying to send people. I'm trying to save souls, and people are under a lot of stress these days. The election is coming up, and the president is stressing people out, and people can't get their food stamps. They're mm -hmm. not getting their stimulus check, and they're not getting their unemployment, and people are really stressed out, and they're at the end of their rope. Right. And I'm trying to get people to tie a knot in their rope Absolutely. and send them over there to your mama so your mama can pray for them. But you won't even get out of them people the information so they can get in contact with your mama so your mama can pray for these people. And when they come out of this pandemic and they'll give your mama and God all the praise because your mama prayed <laughs> them through. But you won't give them your mama's name or her information. But you want to come up here and tell people about your EP. You want to tell them about your brother. I am Zoe. But you don't want to tell them about your mama. And your mama is doing a more important mission than you and your brother. Amen. She the reason you and your brother here. And Amen. you don't want to give your mama the <laughs> Oh, my God, my God. I feel the stance coming on. I feel the shout coming on. Oh, <laughs> Listen. No, our church is the temple of God. I oh, know they can come to oh. the temple of God here in Atlanta. Um, yeah. so, you see, I had to go into praise on Whitehall mode Street for him to give that out. Yes, temple of praise on where? Temple of God on Whitehall. Oh my God, that's a bad area. Y'all going where you normally go for church? Is it Whitehall? <laughs> oh my God, I hope I'm saying the right thing. Oh Jesus. Lord, I please, I hope you're saying the right? wrong thing. I hope your mama ain't over there in that danger city. <laughs> I, I, I don't think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's right. <laughs> that's why you ain't want to get the information out, cause you know you're gonna be putting people lives in jeopardy trying to get over there to that church. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Whiteford. Just... Well, my mama says Whiteford. I'm sorry. Oh, is it Whiteford? I knew mean, White. Wait, what your mama say? Whiteford. Okay, she. Oh, oh, your mama's on your line. Yeah. Oh, I have to be. Hey, uh, hey. Miss Sandra. Miss Sandra. <laughs> hey, Miss Sandra. I'm just sitting here crying, Miss Sandra. <laughs> right. Hey, Miss Sandra. Right. Yeah, I'm an evangelist too, honey. Praise God. Oh, Shata, Shata, honey. Listen. Now, so the good. reason I brought your brother up is mm -hmm. because. You and your brother, you're both successful. You're a successful singer, and he's a successful person on uh, social media. Yes. I am Zoe. Mm -hmm. Friend, friend. Hey, friend. Absolutely. Friend. Oh, no, friend. No, friend. <laughs> I need to interview yeah. your brother, too. I'm going to get yes. in contact with I am Zoe. I'm going to bring him in here. Yes, please. But uh, the reason I brought that up is because the situation with Lisa Ray and DeBrat, when they brought mm -hmm. DeBrat on to, you know, wish us a happy birthday on the Queen show and all mm -hmm. that. And how it went left. And when I saw that, it gave me that Lisa Ray has some kind of jealousy mm -hmm. when it comes to her sister's mm -hmm. uh, success. Right. And then it's just like, you know, Beyonce and Solange, I think mm -hmm. they had a little time where they went through that. Solange was upset because she was under the shadow of her sister. Yeah. So you and your brother, how are you all? You're both in entertainment. What is it like? Uh, I mean, it's bro it's a brother thing. So, um, maybe we definitely should have been up here together for that question. Uh, but we love each other. We support each other. Uh, I just I do what I would want him to do for me, you know, and um, support him as much as I can, you know. Yeah, that was very political. See, <laughs> see, Lisa Ray, that's how you handle that. You don't put our family business out live like you did, Lisa Ray. You were stupid and ignorant for that, honey. Stretch your hand this way, Lord. Touch Lisa Ray. Let touch her Lisa know Ray. that she don't have to be jealous of the bread, honey. Absolutely. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 amen we need to stand honey. together. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. You know what? But mm -hmm. your mama's still on there. Yes, I think. so. Oh my God. 
Let me tell your mama, <laughs> ma'am, you have produced one of the most beautiful families in the world. When I see y'all taking y'all pictures, y'all family photos, because y'all get together. Y'all think, I'll be following you and I'll be watching, I'll be looking, honey. Y'all get together for Thanksgiving and Christmas and holidays and mm-hmm. stuff, and y'all be doing them family pictures. <laughs> And they do them on the gathering. You know, the old young folks not going to know what the gathering is. That's the poor child. <laughs> they do the pictures on the poor. Because his mama, his mama not going to let y'all see the inside of her house. Okay, listen. <laughs> no, but y'all have a beautiful family, honey. Thank you. Y'all Thank remind you so me of me and my family. Just be- oh, everybody beautiful, that, honey. Listen, I'm your reflection. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful people. From the inside out. Yes. <laughs> the playground. Yes. Your mm-hmm. cash app. Oh yeah, the is they gonna, is they making your cash app go ding? I don't I don't know if I have those alerts. I don't like alerts and oh, all that. Oh, you don't. Mm-mm, Did your mama send you a cash app? <laughs> Check your mama send your cash app. <laughs> she don't need to send me no cash app. Yes, she I, do, I need honey. To send her cash app. No, honey, you've been sending her cash app. Tell your mama send your cash app. If she's really blessed <laughs> and really anointed, yeah. if the Holy Ghost <laughs> really fell up in her bank account, <laughs> cash app Robbie and me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hello. Oh, oh I'm gonna go, and we're gonna do the break. We're gonna uh, come back. We're gonna do the birthdays. I'm gonna let you read over these birthdays because I okay. can't have you messing up these birthdays because your mom is listening. Mm-hmm. I don't need you on here mm-hmm. mispronouncing people's names. So I'm gonna give him time to go over his lesson, ma'am. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Miss Sandra. What's her name? Is Sandra? Yes. Yeah, Miss Sandra. I'm gonna give Robbie time to go over his <laughs> lesson. I'm not gonna just put him out there like that. <laughs> come, you girl, Miss Sophia, holding it down right here. We are you ready? We are you ready? We're the home of the urban sound of pride. L.A. Reed, call me. Oh. Welcome back to Club Chit Chat with your DJ Miss Sophia right here on We Are You Radio. We Are You Radio. We're the home of the urban sounds of pride. Welcome to Happy Hour, everybody. That's right. It's Happy Hour right here at Club Chit Chat. Welcome to Happy Hour, Robbie. This is your first Happy Hour with us. How you doing, really? Absolutely. Do we get like shots or something? Yeah, you get shots, you get weed, you get really? pills, you get powder, whatever you want. <laughs> oh, my Everything God. Everything is legal right here at Club Chit Chat's Happy Hour. What you want? You want some powder? You want <laughs> pills? You want shot? You want weed? What you want? Let's give you a little bit of everything. Thing. Okay, your mama watching. <laughs> I know, right? But before you get, before no. you uh, take everything, I need you to go to your phone right now and request your Uber for an hour later because you're finna oh. get full. You're getting ready to get full. Okay. okay, you are going to get full. Welcome to Happy Hour, everybody. Absolutely. Yes, honey. My special guest, Robbie. Robbie is a singer. He's getting ready to do a concert on tomorrow. Mm-hmm. He and a young lady by the name of Stout. Stout. Yes. Tell them about the concert before we get wild and loose in here. Yeah, it was just an intimate concert. Uh, showcasing me, uh, Robbie, and Stout. Uh, you know, very edgy, eclectic, um, rock, and uh, uh, electronic, uh, dance, soul, gospel, all that mixed up in one. Just we, we know how to make people feel, you know what I'm saying? So, and where's the concert tomorrow? It's at St. James Live. And what time it start? Doors open at 7. So, and how do they get tickets? 7 is show starts at 7 30. Yes. Mm-hmm. And how do they get tickets? Um, just go to my, the best way right now, since I'm like, don't have it in front of me. Go mm-hmm. to my Instagram, um, Robbie Raw, R A H B I R A W. And I have like flyers and everything with the, um, the the website that you go there and get the tickets. Put my name in the promo code R A H B I and get 25% off. And um, yes. And it's being presented to you by Sean Jonna, Jonna Entertainment, honey. Mm-hmm. The same John, Sean Jonna that puts on uh, Fall Tactical, honey. Absolutely. Yes. Also, I just want to say that Robbie is up here promoting his family business. <laughs> he done told me about his uh, brother, I am Zoe. Yep. Make sure he plug him and mm-hmm. he also. Also told me about his mama, mama. Uh, evangelist Sandra, Sandra Grant, Grant, and mm-hmm. also he told me about your cousin. Who is your? What your cousin do? She's a rapper. Yeah, his cousin is a rapper. So I got to get up her up here. I got to get his mama up here to talk about her church, and then I got to get uh, his brother up here. Mm-hmm. I am Zoe, yes. and also he said nothing about his dad. I got to get his dad <laughs> up here because his dad is a dope dealer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's how we keep it going. <laughs> Let yeah. me stop by that man and no dope dealer. <laughs> his dad is not a dope dealer, and mm-hmm. I'm just up here being ignorant and silly. Okay. But we get ready to do the birthdays right now. Yes, you ready to do the birthdays? 
I know one of them. Oh, okay. Well, you just hold that one. <laughs> uh, celebrating their birthday today. Nicole Parker, she's celebrating her 50th birthday today. John Mellencamp, he's celebrating his 69th birthday today. Taylor Hicks, he is the American Idol winner from season five. Nobody knows nothing about him. He's 44 years old today, honey. Child, bless his heart, honey. Jennifer Hudson get more love than him, and she didn't even win American Idol. Taylor Hicks, uh, check on him, y'all. Joy Behar from The View, she's celebrating her 78th birthday today. Bishop Desmond Tutu, he's celebrating his 89th birthday today. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad was born on this day. Also, Tom Perez, he is a politician. He is celebrating his birthday today. A producer that are celebrating their birthday today. Flying Lotus is 37 years old. Bryce Wilson, you know, he worked with Tony Braxton. Mm -hmm. And he's celebrating his 48th birthday today. NBA players, AJ Price, 34. And Damian James, 33. The NFL players that are celebrating their birthday today. My boyfriend, Charles Woodson, is celebrating 44 years old today. He is so sexy and so kind. So fine and so cute. And also, Priest Holmes is 47 years old today. He's sexy, fine, and cute, too. Uh, Kevin Pierre Lewis, 29. Oliver Vernon, 30. Brett Lockhart, 34. And the person that everybody is talking about who is celebrating her birthday today is who, Robbie? Tony Braxton. Tony Braxton. Yes. How me, <laughs> me <laughs> wait, I love you. Let you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Anybody want some ice cream? Seven whole days. <laughs> not a word from you. Yes. Seven whole nights. Mm, I can't take it, won't take it. Mm, mm. I should have called Tony Braxton and wished her a happy birthday. Yeah, Lyra. you should Tony, have. See the Tony Braxton song, Robbie? <laughs> you don't know no Tony Braxton song? Don't put me on the spot. You trying to do me like Brandy did Monica? Oh no, honey. Brandy's <laughs> trying to do Brand. <laughs> Brandy trying to do it like baby. Listen, she didn't put Monica on the spot. Monica put herself on the spot by oh, accepting no. that gig, knowing she had done nothing <laughs> in a decade. But uh, well, yes, she has. Versus, I was asking you about that earlier, and I was like, who is your favorite versus so far? My favorite, probably Brandy and Monica. Oh really? That one in. And, yeah, Brandy. Panic. Gotta keep it. Say panic. <laughs> say panic. Say panic. No, I like say, no, no, no. Brandy and Monica. Say, 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 say. And, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. If no. you want your mama and your brother and your cousin <laughs> and your dad to come up here, you better say Patty and Gladys. Say it. Say, that was good. Say Patty no, and Gladys. You could tell that they were really Listen, good I'm telling you, say Patty and Gladys was one of your favorites <laughs> as well. Um, Patty, Patty and Gladys. Oh, okay, <laughs> George, you heard it. He loved Patty and no. Gladys. <laughs> Baby, that is a Patty LaBelle. You know, Brandy and Monica and um, I like Erica Badu. So it could have just been her by herself. Listen, Jill Scott and Erica. Yeah, I like. Who would you be on Versus with? Uh, I told people probably Duran Bernard. Oh, you know? mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. All right. You know who that is? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I would say him. Somebody else that you done killed off. Because everybody that inspired you, you they did. <laughs> no. So whoever you like now, they got a little, they time is limited. But uh, y'all no. check on them. We probably started around, you know, around the same time. Mm. You know, same kind of energy. But listen, I'm getting ready to play your song right here, Everybody Breathe. Okay. Tell us about this song. Uh, Everybody Breathe, it's just my uh, offering to uh, police brutality, uh, yeah, all of that. Like in a, in a time where I saw everybody saying they can't do anything, I can't breathe. Like, you know, I I think it's important to also inspire your people during um, moments of chaos. You mm -hmm. know, so there's mm -hmm. there's some sense of hope. You know, so I just wanted to create an anthem that encouraged them to move forward and to come up with solutions and let them know that as black people, you know, we get through everything. Right. You know, so we'll get through this as well. So. Everybody and speaking breathe. of which, everybody breathe. And you're talking about, you know, with police brutality and all of that, the mm -hmm. young man, Jacob Blake, yes. that was shot at point blank ring in the back, and mm -hmm. he's paralyzed now. Uh, come to find out, we just got word that he has been released secretly from the hospital. He's now in a spinal rehabilitation center mm -hmm. recovering. And his uncle said that he got released from the hospital like a week and a half ago. We were mm -hmm. just finding out today. And his dad is getting death threats. Oh, and wow. then uh, the young man, George Floyd, mm -hmm. the last police officer that was in jail he has been given a bond and he is out 
on bond until his trial and his trial is supposed to take place in March. However, they all are requesting that their trials be moved because they're saying that they don't feel safe with having their trials in that city. Well, that's where you committed the murder. <laughs> right. So you're going to have your trial right there, honey. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, everybody breathe. Yeah. It has to deal with police brutality. And this is what inspired this song. I'm your girl, Miss Sophia, holding down right here. Where are you ready? Where you ready? We're the home of the urban sound of pride. And this is my very special guest song. Robbie with everybody what? Breathe the remix. Best thing, I thought I found love, but you ain't it. Mm-mm. I thought I found love, but I found out that he wasn't it, so I had to let him go. Mm-hmm. And then guess what happened, y'all? What happened? In walks Robbie. <laughs> My soulmate. That's it. Your weekend lover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just on the weekend. No, the, like the the album is talking about how you thought you thought this was about about to be a fling. Oh. You know what I'm saying? But this person has like made you feel love like you never felt before. Oh, you know, right. so I'm saying that's what I'm doing. Like in walk Rabi and like oh my <sighs> goodness. This is something oh, serious. Got me plus, got me nah. plus. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, George, you got this. My old man said, get out of here. Come on, babe. Let's go, babe. I used to be so scared to come around you at the shows. You did? Yes, because, like, you would, like, talk about. <laughs> Look, we had Talk just about re- everybody in the audience. <laughs> we like, had just went into full fledged conversation. I'm sorry, everybody in I'm Radio sorry. Land. Oh, I'm sorry, this is your girl, Miss Sophia, <laughs> holding down right here. We are you ready? We are you ready? We're the home of the Urban Sound of Pride. My very special guest today, the one and only Robbie. Hey, Robbie. I thought was about to now, what were you saying? <laughs> First of all, I want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out to my niece, Jada Waiter. Everybody always asks, where's Jada Waiter? Jada Waiter is mm. the big sister now. She has a little sister and they named her Giselle. Mm-hmm. So she has a big sister. Sister, and she is live on IG, and we are talking, conversating back and forth, me mm-hmm. and Jada Waiter. Also, I want to thank the uh, president of the Diamond Club, Laughing Hyenas. She just blessed my cash app. Mm-hmm. Yes, what she did, honey. Thank okay. you, Jasmine. That is right. So I'm still waiting on your mom to send me my uh, <laughs> my praise offering. <laughs> I'm sure she will. But, Robbie. Mm-hmm. Yes. What? <laughs> what do you want to say? <laughs> I don't know which thing you were to say. What, no, you, this, what, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? This is I'll, you. I'll, I don't know. You don't know. You're I'll single. I am. No, I was just talking about the first time. Like I saw you at the show. Like honestly, like the way I was introduced to like drag performance. When my friend, my best friend in high school, told me that he was dating um Jasmine Bonet. Mm-hmm. I, I Who was that? Um, little bit. You remember him? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I remember him. The love of her life. Absolutely. So um, he was like, I'm dating Jasmine Bonet. And, um, you know, he would refer to her as, I'm, I'm about to not air my ignorance and everything. You know what I'm saying? He would refer to her as she and everything. But back then, I was like, why are you saying she? I was just retarded. You know what I'm saying? No, you weren't retarded. Well, you just ignorant. didn't know. Yeah, Nobody exactly. had educated you Absolutely. on that. So you wasn't retarded. Absolutely. You wasn't ignorant. You just Sorry. wasn't uneducated. You Absolutely. wasn't educated. On food, that, just like right. everything else, when you're not educated on something, uh-huh. it don't mean you're retarded and you're ignorant and you're stupid. You just mm-hmm. don't know. I just did not know, mm-hmm. you know. So, but he brought me to a show, and you were there hosting, and I was like, "This is the funniest person I've ever met in my life." You know, and then jazz became out, and just I just developed this appreciation and love for y'all that just made me just embrace. You know the the culture and just elements of myself as well. You know, just mm-hmm. I don't know. I just I'm forever grateful and thankful for that this. was back at tracks right yes tracks. were you there mm-hmm. the nights on those nights when tyler perry came <laughs> 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 listen i tell people all the time you were the first person i saw uh pulling guns out of purses and doing the grandmama and listen so i, I know where it came from your honor could you ask the witness to answer the question <laughs> were you there at tracks um some of the nights when tyler perry was there yeah oh okay but hey so i might need you as a witness <laughs> can i get a witness <laughs> no <laughs> no i'm just kidding it is what it is it is what it is yeah. honey but uh i thank you and then it's just like you said you know you were introduced to all of that and we were introduced to you yes. and i have just enjoyed just watching your career just go all up 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 up, 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 up and you. see the things that you're doing now and you know not sitting back waiting on somebody like la oh, no. reed to come and put <laughs> sign you to nothing else you know as a solo yeah. artist you know you had that experience with him when he did that boy group when he was trying to get 
them boys together when he was and all that stuff and stuff. <laughs> and you didn't have to be a part of that. And you just got away from that. And you left yes. in the nick of time. Because once you left, then he played with us. I mean, he signed Usher. And they had all this. <laughs> Played with us. No, his music, I'm saying. Oh, okay, but okay, it's okay. just like, no. <laughs> so I'm proud of you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we are going to get so sued. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, we're not. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Absolutely. Allegedly. I'm just saying what the courthouse papers say. We got to bring Jaguar right up here. <laughs> Jaguar right. No, we're not going to bring her up here because she, she, she want a death sentence. She oh. want a death sentence. I'm not. No. I play and everything like that. But sometimes you the people can mm-hmm. take it too far and they yeah. So they get saying. too personal and stuff, and then it's just like, mm-mm, mm-hmm. mm-mm, like I pressure. Think she's probably mm-mm, just been mm-mm. hurt really bad, I guess. Huh? I think she's just probably been hurt really bad. Well, even so, you hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. And that's what she's doing, you know. Hurt people, hurt people. And if she's been hurt, then that explains why she's doing what she's doing. But it's still no excuse for what she's doing and how she's doing it and how she just, you know, randomly picking these people and just mm-hmm. throwing them under the bus like that. You don't do that. We have some. Yeah. We're not, she's the Lisa Ray. <laughs> I'm the Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I ain't going to say that. I want my name. Yes, because I don't mind. I don't mind saying that uh, Wendy Williams and, mm-hmm. you know, NeNe Leakes, mm-hmm. just niggas in wigs. <laughs> so silly. Oh, speaking of NeNe Leakes, honey, have you seen, what do you think about NeNe Leakes leaving Housewives? I don't really watch that. Like, I don't either. Yeah, I don't be looking at foolish stuff. But like everybody that. be watching that yeah, foolishness. I don't. That it's, don't feed my spirit. But see, this is the that. thing. <laughs> this is the thing, honey. Yeah. And it's just like now she's on this tour trying to gather all these sympathy points. You mm-hmm. know, want people to feel sorry for. Girl, you done threw people under the bus for years. Absolutely. And now all of a sudden, you know, they done threw you under the bus and told you get out of here. You know, because yeah. it's just no different than the music industry, no mm-hmm. different than the entertainment industry, no different than Hollywood and all these other things, honey. Mm-hmm. You are old and you have been. And they're looking for the new. Am I right? That's true. The music industry is looking for the new people, the young, right. fresh faces that they can bring into the music industry. Right. The Hollywood's looking for the new, young, Unless fresh faces. Unless saying something that's helping people, you know. But if not, then they're just looking for that new, right now thing. And now she yeah. want to throw Andy Cohen under the bus. Talking about Andy Cohen is a racist and Andy Cohen is doing this and nobody knew you until they until you met me and da da da. But the bottom yeah. line is, even if nobody knew him before you introduced him to the world, mm-hmm. he still made money off of your story Absolutely. and the rest of the housewife he'd have made more money so now you know the reality that's set in mm-hmm. you know i made some coins but he made a bank so right. now you want to throw him under the bus girl he don't care what you say he'd have made <laughs> enough money off of you and the rest of the housewife and the rest of the housewives franchise yeah. to live comfortably the rest of his life and if he decides to have some gay babies they going to live <laughs> comfortably the rest of their lives because of all the money that he has made off of you all selling y'all stories so now you want to go the boy cry boo uh, well sir I'm sorry Mr. Leaks. that's what you signed up for <laughs> I'm your girl Miss Sophia holding it down right here okay. on Will You Radio well, you're ready with the home of the urban sounds of pride. And my very special guest today is the one and only. Robin. My boo. <laughs> and who am I to you? <laughs> my love. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> no. <Your> what? <laughs> What my weekend lover? I'm sorry, y'all gotta no, like prep me. That's coming up later, honey. I was just, I was just, I was just fasting in the moment, honey. You said my love. I said my love. My love. My, yeah. my boo. Come on, say it. My boo. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> My, Let me stop messing with him, honey. I'm just you sweating. Yeah. I'm just kidding, honey. I'm your grandma, no. child. You too young for me. I'm not a cougar, honey. I am not a cougar. I am a what? A woman. A lady. A lady. <laughs> a lady. A lady. Woman has man in it. <laughs> Hey. Welcome back to Club Chit Chat with your DJ Miss Sophia right here on We Are Your Radio, honey. I just wanted to stop the music for a little while just to let you know my very special guest that's sitting here with me right now, Robbie. Yes. This is your song, Weekend Lover. Hey, go ahead, do you. 
That was my very special guest, the one and only Rob B with Weekend Lover. Now, you say that this started off, this is a love song. This is a love yes. story, honey. It started mm -hmm. off by somebody that wanted to be a weekend lover, but y'all fell in love. So now it's just like y'all spend every weekend together. Uh, yeah, well, the guy in the song, he just, you know, his weekend normally consists of him just going out and hitting it and quitting it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But this particular weekend, he has connected with somebody like he never has before. You know, so now their spirits are intertwining. They're having this tantric um, connection and and I don't I don't want to leave you you know what I'm saying I think I want to be with you forever you know so the the full EP is a, a story of lust turned into love and um yeah because with my music with my art period I always want to like lead people to love I don't want to destroy my folks you know what I'm saying you're so yeah. positive my grandfather's a pastor my mom a pastor so like this is my way of leading you to God you know oh, <laughs> your ministry yeah. that's what I said about my comedy I said my comedy is my ministry honey because people always used to tell me that I was going to be a preacher growing up honey yeah. and it's just like one day I realized you know this is my ministry Yeah, you know my comedy is my ministry honey absolutely but you was talking about your mom your mom is evangelist Sandra Grant and she's over <laughs> at Temple of God on White Fort Street not White Hall yeah. White Fort White Fort mm -hmm. don't forget to check out the debate tonight the debate between Senator Kamala Harris and my Pence, she's going to destroy him. We already know that, but still <laughs> check it out. Also, Robbie, how can people keep in contact with you? Yes, my website, hello, Robbie.com, H E L L O R A H B I.com, and you know, all my information is there. And tomorrow night, you and Stout, you are going to put it down because Sean Jonah has put together a concert for you guys, and it's going to take place tomorrow. At St. James Live. Doors open at 7. Show starts at 7.30. Doors open at 7. Show starts at uh, like 8, 8.30. <laughs> Cause last I checked, Sean was still black, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. They say they want you to be there at seven. The show gonna start at eight thirty. You can still buy tickets at seven thirty, honey. All right. Okay. The show's supposed to start. Right. What? Right, be? They supposed to be on stage? Huh? Yeah, good. It's a black event. Yeah, I gotta be on time. Oh my goodness. All right. I've enjoyed you. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Thank y'all for having me. I love y'all. And so now much. I have to get your your brother in here. I am Zoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, friend, friend. <laughs> what friend? What you? What they do, friend? What they say, friend, friend? Yeah, absolutely, friend. And then I got to get your mom in here she's an evangelist mm -hmm. and i gotta get your cousin in here who's a rapper yes and i gotta get your daddy in here who is an entrepreneur <laughs> slanging that dope <laughs> hey what's your dad do honey what's your dad uh he's retired from delta airlines oh okay so he's just, you know fixing up his house you know just relaxing yes and he <laughs> can still fly anywhere in the world anywhere in the world once you retire you still have your flight benefits absolutely Oh, so your dad and your mom, they be going around the world. Well, they, yeah. Okay. They traveled a lot, you know, before, they so now they just be chilling. Oh, they just be chilling. Yeah. <laughs> at the house where she let the family take pictures outside in right. the front. She won't take no pictures on the inside. Right. You're not seeing my house on the inside. She won't even let y'all come in there with no videos and cameras mm -hmm. and stuff on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's her sacred place. Oh, how's that? Oh, Shondo. <laughs> um, Shondo. Yes. <laughs> Yes, honey, yes. Miss Sandra Grant, so evangelist sweet. Sandra Grant. Mm -hmm. I got to meet her. I got yeah, to meet. Come to church. We got to get you. Let you do a solo. A solo, cause you be going in on them church solos. You do. <laughs> you do. You can really sing. The safest place <laughs> in the whole wide world mm -hmm. is in the will <laughs> of God. Yeah. Oh, mountains oh. be great. I heard that. That was good. And the way it <laughs> seems hard in the will of God. Before there was a Kim Burrell. Right. Before there was a Yolanda Adams. Right. Before there was a Karen Clark Sheard. There was. Before there was a Dottie People. Uh -huh. Before there was a Shirley Caesar. Mm -hmm. There has always been a Mama Hyena Sophia <laughs> McIntyre. <laughs> And I got to get out of here, but I get so glad we had this time together. Absolutely. Just to sing a song, a share, a laugh or two. <laughs> and before you ever know it, comes the time for us to show it. And we have to say to each other, so long. I love you. I love you back. God bless you. Alhamdulillah. I want you to be blessed. I want you to be a blessing. But more importantly, I want you to be yourself always because no one else could be you but you. Absolutely. They could only be a carbon copy. And a carbon copy is never better than the original. And mm -hmm. you, my darling, laugh. And hyenas and beautiful people, yes. you all are originals. Yes. Somebody tell that to Tyler Perry. I'm out. <laughs> Check this out.